Everything looks so good. I want to buy everything. I didn't even realize Nutella was Italian. Hi, guys. I am in Florence in Italy. And usually when I come to a new country, one of the first things I want to do is see the local supermarket. And I want to see what Italy has to offer. But this is the name of the supermarket, Unicoop Firenze. But yeah, let's go get Italian snacks. Yay! Oh my god, that's so fluffy. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. What's the name of this bread? Focaccia cereal. It's so fluffy. Yeah, we get that too. Yeah. <laughs> this is a normal focaccia. Guys, there's so many options here. What's a girl to choose? Oh wow. Oh my god, you're beautiful, but you're too big for me right now, so. There's so many options in this place. This is too much options. I'm having decisions. Oh, look how cute. I used to be obsessed with the show Cake Boss and he would always make cannolis. So, this is Siciliano. I'm telling you, Italian supermarkets, they give you options. Oh my God, they got more cheese. This place is cheese upon cheese upon cheese. We've come to the cookie section, but well, this is the Italian cookie. But why is it such a big bag? Is it no smaller bag? Jay's lost in the pasta section. Cheese I'm a really big texture person when it comes to food, so I feel like this is a good one to get. These look really good too. Oh, this will be so much fun to eat. Next thing on the list is preserves. And there are, again, lots of options, so I don't know what we're going to pick. This is fig. Oh my God, they got fig. Wow, figure that out. Huh. Never tried fig jam before, so let's go get it. I'm sure Harry's going to love it. <laughs> He's probably not even going to try it, to be honest with you. It might make him sick. This is an Italian brand, I think, called Muki. Let's try it. Whoa, we have way too much stuff. We have way, way too much stuff. <gasps> the pasta sauce is meant to be really good here, right? Pesto is meant to be good here too. Whoa, this stuff looks good. I don't even know what it is, but it looks good. I just feel like if I don't get it, I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> like when in Italy, I should get a paste, right? Everything looks so good, I wanna buy everything. Okay, I'm gonna get these two. Pesto, I know. This one, I have no idea what it is, but it looks good, so I'm gonna get it. And we'll try them when we get home, in a month's time, because I forget, because I don't like cooking. Oh, hey. I'm gonna get myself white truffle oil to put in the pasta too. Wow, this pasta's about to be lit. Also, it says for professional, chef, and home use. I'm a professional now. Like. Jay bought another bag, and we're just gonna fill it up with Italian food. You know what, that's actually not a bad chow. Let's do that. Okay, well in that case, I'm we'll buying more stuff. I'm getting this. <laughs> Look how big the ice cream tubs are here. Whoa. I found the little tubs of ice cream. I found the gelato, and I'm picking three different ones. I'm most excited about the pistachio one. We got chocolate, and we got amarina, which is cherry. So, gelatos, check. Exciting. I really like iced tea, and I think this is an Italian brand. And they have another flavor here. Yeah, nice. They have a peachy flavor too. So I'm gonna get these. I hope they're good. I asked local people, Italians, what their most popular Italian snack, like chocolate or candy sweet stuff is, and they said Nutella. I didn't even realize Nutella was Italian. But I've tried Nutella before, so I'm probably not gonna get Nutella. But that was a recommendation. The most Italian chocolate is Nutella. Okay, this is the one that they suggested. Suggested by an Italian, so we shall go for this one. I think we may have gone a little overboard. It's snack time! How cute is it that you can buy small tubs of ice cream at the supermarket? But I don't think I need the spoon because it's all runny, so I'm just gonna try it. Oh, it's got bits. Oh, how do I show this? Oh, this is Jay's bed. She's gonna kill me. Where have they, how do you get to the spoon? Is it this? But it's like really, ooh. Oh my God. This is the most messiest thing ever. I don't understand. Okay, look at that. Can you see the little pistachio nuts? Mmm. I do like it. It is more like a pistachio milkshake now. And I do like that it comes with a spoon, but I don't like the fact that it's covered in ice cream. So it's just a very sticky experience. I don't know what to do with a spoon now, though. Okay, so that has been pistachio ice cream. Next, we're going to wash it down with Italian lemon iced tea. I love me some iced tea. And actually, whenever, especially when I go on holiday, I'm always, like, I always gravitate to iced tea. And I like to try out the different iced teas in different countries, but I've never tried the Italian one. So this is quite a big deal. It is quite, this is probably the most important thing out of everything, to be honest. Because if this is a new favorite, well, I'll be sad because I don't think you can get this in the UK, but. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Why does it smell like that? <laughs> um, okay, I'm not gonna get my hopes up too high. I don't really know what to make of that, to be honest with you. Oh, you know what, actually, no. I think this is a grower. I think the tea part of it is really strong. You know, like with tea, sometimes it, it has this like, I don't have to, like a strong taste at the back of your throat. Like it really tastes like tea, like harsh tea. Okay, you know what? It came through. You gotta be patient with this one. Try a few times, get a, used to it, and then it really does shine through. Right, okay, I think I found a new lemon iced tea. Love that for me. I also got it in peach. I'm not really a peach kind of gal, but I'll give it a go anyway. Ooh. I might change my mind. Wow. Oh my God, that's so good. That's incredible. Oh my God, I think I just found my new favorite drink. I was all about the lemon iced tea, but I think I might be a peach gal now. Now I'm feeling cookie. We're in the sweet vibe. Now this is a very big bag. So if I don't like this, we're in trouble. But, oh. I keep making this mistake. I was trying to read the back to tell you what ingredients are in it, but obviously it's all in Italian because we're in Italy. So I don't know. I actually don't know what's in this. It smells really good. Oh my God, it's so cute. Aesthetically, I'm sold. Hmm, it's a bit dry. It's a bit dry. I think if you dunk this in tea, incredible. I like it. Is it the best biscuit I've ever had? No. Oh, okay, this one smells good. Oh my God, this one smells really good. Yeah, yeah, these are really good. Okay. I've got a lot to say about these. First of all, texture-wise, incredible. Love the texture. Um, flavor, how do you explain the flavor to this? It's very potatoey, very salty. Like, it tastes like ready salted crisp but with a slight tinge of prawn crackers. Is that a good definition? Maybe, I don't know. When I got this, I was like, this is a really big bag. But now that I've tried it, I reckon I could get through the whole bag by myself. Now we're having strawberry yogurt, which is quite random to have at midnight. But um, I reckon I can just drink this. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's really nice. That's really thick and creamy. I'm not even a yogurt kind of girl, but I really like that. Okay, yogurt, big fan, 10 out of 10. Now, we come on to the bread. In the supermarket I went to, they had a lot going on in the bread section. It was all like freshly made and stuff. So she gets the non-fresh bread instead, typical. Now, I've gone for two different types. I think focaccia, focaccia, focaccia is like the go-to Italian bread. Did you hear that? Oh, it's soft. It's more like a brioche than a bread. This is focaccia bread. Look at the way it bounces back up. Crazy. It's like a sponge. Mm. Oh, that's some good bread. It's so chewy. Oh, it's salty. Wow, that is really salty, actually. I feel like I've just put a load of salt in my mouth. Jay, eat the bread and tell me if it's meant to be the salty. Yeah, have a big, have a big bite. <laughs> you get saltier, yeah, you're yeah, right. More and more, <laughs> right? So here's the fig jam. People are, Italians are crying as we speak. Oh, they get mad. I'm gonna just try it. Is it good? It wouldn't be my go-to jam flavor. It's quite a strong jam flavor. It's really sweet. I don't hate it. Well, that's all I got to say about it. <laughs> what does it taste like? Really, really sickly sweet. So this is too salty and that's too sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't balance each other out. <laughs> Maybe you put way too much jam. <laughs> there you go. That's a good amount of jam right there. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Maybe the ratio was off. Yeah, I think you put way too much jam. Okay, I'll just like lightly yeah. um, caress the bread. <laughs> respect the bread. <laughs> <Tell> respect <us. laughs> always, always respecting bread. In Italy, that's all we ever do. Yeah, you're right. Mm. I overdid it. You literally like... Hmm? Yeah. And then I'm like, it's too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl, because you just drank it. <laughs> oh, this is like brown bread. 
healthy. Therefore, I Ooh, automatically do not like it. I don't think I want a big bite. Like Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> this one's good. Do you like the healthy one? I do actually. Oh, there's more going on with this one. I like it. I don't know if it's if all Italian bread is salty or just this style. Imagine this with cheese, tomatoes, mm. a bit of salad. It'd be incredible. I don't think you just made it on its own. This is a sandwich. Mm. It's definitely not one which you have with pig jam. I bought some pastries and stuff, which I'll try in the morning for breakfast. But that was all the late night snacks. But the main winner out of everything, and my new favorite drink that I'm gonna be drinking all day tomorrow, is the peach iced tea. It's breakfast time, and for breakfast we bought, I mean, it's more like dessert than breakfast. Oh my God, look at that. It's too pretty to eat. It really is. I'm gonna get this one. No idea what's in it. Uh, you never had a perfect roll before? You know what's crazy? Uh, I feel like with Harry because um, Harry just like he he likes what he likes and he doesn't stray too far from that. Yeah. So um, with All us, right. you've tried so many new things. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Let's try. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mmm. Mm. Oh, dry. My whole mouth is so dry. Not bad. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. You like it? Mm. Um, good. I'm not sure about my yeah. room. I like it. Would you eat it again? Probably. Nice, Harry! Not right now, but... I'm gonna try the... Oh is it fruit tart? Refreshing. <laughs> is it, is mm. it too much? Good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, how do you make a fruit tart? Oh, the fruit tart's so good. Yeah. I would just have the fruit tart. Yeah, me this. too. Next, we have a cannoli. It's got pistachios on one end, I think. I'm not really sure what this thing is on the end. And is it like cream all the way in the middle? I genuinely have no idea. Yeah. Ready? What is that? It doesn't taste as much. It's really sweet. Mm. I thought it would be filled with cream. It's not mm. like soft cream. Mm. I think it's just too sweet for me. Especially it's for breakfast. It's so sweet, yeah. Especially let me wash it down with my <laughs> lemon tea. That has been breakfast, which is basically dessert. Oh, what was the impression of the Italian supermarket? One of the nicest, nice. fanciest yeah. Oh, the pasta supermarket. options, though. Oh, yeah, she went crazy with that. There was a lot of pasta. It was really nice, the one we went to, actually. And the people and the customers were friendly, too. I'm now going to go and explore more of Florence, which is quite exciting. Going to go to the market, to the cathedral. That has been me trying out an Italian supermarket. Great experience, lovely vibes, great food. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you lots. Please know they matter, and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for time for me to go. <laughs> like I die. Like I'm last with the night with the flow here.